What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome into a Memorial Day edition of the Daily Juice Podcast with me, Matt Peralt, at Sports Talk Matt, to follow me on Twitter. This podcast being brought to you by our good friends at OmahaSteaks.com. Promo code JUICE gets you 30 bucks off. A qualifying offer for this Father's Day. More on those guys here in just one second. So a losing day yesterday, technically. One and two. Although if you bet against the A's on the run line again... You're now 7-3, and three, up 3.25 units, like I am, fading the A's. I don't care about the trend, team playing on Sunday Night Baseball, flying across the country. I don't care about anything. I'm fading the A's every day, on the run line, until further notice. Basically until the middle of June, okay? Maybe it blows up my face, maybe not. So far, so good. 7-3, and three, up 3.25 units on it. So, that play, again is too expensive to give to you guys. And by the way, watch out for the A's and the switching of the pitchers, man. They keep on doing this. I had to bet it live. It's annoying as holy heck. Watch out for that. When they switch pitchers, if you're playing action, you're fine. But if you're doing listed, like I bet, that's bad news for us. We got to re-bet quickly once the game either starts or the game is right about to start and the books will refund your bet and you got to re-bet it. Which I had to do yesterday. That's really annoying. So be on the lookout. The A's are getting all funky right now because they're trying desperately to stop this losing streak, which I believe now is at 10 games, okay? They could win this game. Sure. Maybe they beat the Braves. Maybe not. I don't care. A's fading it. Atlanta on the run line. It's minus 150. I'm betting it personally, not officially, but that play is live. It'll be live every day. So if you want to ride it with me, let's giddy up and go here. I do like it a lot just because the A's are horrendous. They're on record. They're on pace for the worst team in the history of Major League Baseball in a 162-game season, which is 50 wins, by the way, but the New York Mets, 50. They have 10 right now. It's Memorial Day. They have 10 wins. That's our first real, you know, poll here of the race. <laughs> 10 wins. Oh, my more on that here in just one second, or I guess not really with baseball. I got two bets in basketball to give you guys, and I've got one bet in hockey to give you guys. Maybe a little bit predictable as to what we're going to go with today, but I don't care. That's just what we're going to try to do today after ending last week, winning week in back-to-back -back weeks. Let's string together another one. And by the way, for those of you that are trying to tell me that the week begins on Sunday, I'm sorry, that's not true. I've had this argument with my co-host on my other show. Well, he thinks the weekend begins on Saturday. I say the weekend begins at 5 o'clock on Friday. That's when the weekend begins, and the week ends Sunday at midnight. Monday morning, that is the start of the work week. That is the first day of the week. That is today, new week after closing out last week. Let's talk about our friends at Omaha Steaks here in just one second, though. It is Father's Day. I'm sure you guys are grilling out today. It's Memorial Day Monday, right? We're all out of work. Got a chance to throw some of that great meat onto. Oh, wait, you haven't bought it yet. You got to buy it to get it. So you have it in your house, in your freezer for your dad, brother, for yourself. They have amazing packages available right now for Father's Day and beyond at omahasteaks.com. When you use the promo code JUICE, you're going to save $30 off your qualifying order. Minimum purchase may be required, but that 30 bucks can go a long way. You go in there, you take a look at what you got for options. The steaks are awesome. The chicken breasts, I had that for dinner tonight. It's phenomenal. Pork chops, desserts, and more all at omahasteaks.com. Promo code juice gets you 30 bucks off at checkout with a qualifying offer now it is the end of the month okay with it being the end of the month that means the betting pros daily juice betting group for the signed dennis rodman jersey is nearly up for grabs if you have not done this do this now we're almost at the end of the month someone's gonna win this here in the next couple of days what you're gonna do to find out which Daily Juice listener has the best ROI on their bets. Now, you got to make 10 bets minimum between now and the end of the month that are tracked to qualify for the leaderboard. So you got to get going here. The contest will, take, contest will take place in the new Daily Juice betting group on the Betting Pros app. The leaderboard is exclusive to Daily Juice listeners. It is set up to track your performance and showcase the bets being placed. Not only will you get bragging rights for winning, 
You will also get this autographed Dennis Rodman's signed Bulls jersey. Second through fifth place, if you don't win and get the jersey, you get one for a year of Betting Pros Premium. Again, go to bettingpros.com slash juice. Click the button to join the Daily Juice group. Download the Betting Pros app in the App Store. Either log your picks in the app or sync your bets using the app. Either approach for tracking your bets counts. Monitor the Daily Juice leaderboard to see how you're performing and see who's going to wind up winning this signed jersey. To recap, visit bettingpros.com slash juice to join the group. Download the Betting Pros app to make your picks, and you could be winning that autographed Dennis Rodman jersey in the month of May. All right, let's start with basketball, and then we'll go to hockey. Not betting baseball. I mean, I don't like betting baseball on Sunday. I really don't like betting baseball on a Memorial Day Monday when the times are all wonky and everything is messed up and it's all different. So no, only bet is going to be on the A's. Look, the Atlanta Braves could lose this game outright to the A's, absolutely, or maybe the A's, you know, lose by one. Fine, I'll give it to you if you want to tell me, Matt, this is a bad bet. Don't care. I'm up 3.25 units on it. I'm going to play with it. That's it for baseball for me. If I add anything, I'll let you know, but probably not because I'm going to be pacing my house the entire day. It is Game 7 Monday. The Boston Celtics are playing against the Miami Heat. The line is 7. The total is 203.5, okay? You know what I'm betting, right? I'm betting the Miami Heat. Plus 7. I mean, how could you not? It's a Game 7. What are we doing? 7-point line? Come on now. Like, come on, bro. Like, what are we doing here? I know. The only way Boston wins is by winning in a blowout, right? Are we sure? I don't know. Boston just won a game on a last second shot, an unbelievable play, a crazy, a play that if Boston wins this game seven, they make history. The Boston Red Sox were the first team ever to come back down 0-3 in baseball history. The Patriots were down 28-3, the largest comeback in the history of the Super Bowl. This would be history again for another Boston team in the postseason. If I'm the Celtics, I'm getting Johnny Damon, who was there in game six, by the way, with the championship ring. He was there cheering on the Miami Heat, and he wore his Red Sox ring to the game. Like, whoa. I'm getting him. I'm getting David Ortiz. I'm getting Pedro Martinez. I'm getting everybody who was in the Boston media, basically, and I'm getting them, and I'm putting them on courtside, right dead center, saying this is the guy. Paul Pierce, same seat as game five. Paul Pierce was an awesome cheerleader. Go crazy. I will gladly be wrong here, folks. I want to be wrong here. I hope we're not sweating this out. But Heat plus seven, 1.1 units. I don't know how in the world you don't take the Miami Heat. This is ridiculous. The Heat can win the game outright, 100%. It is just like the Boston Celtics to get this to a game seven and to lose this, okay? I won't be stunned at all if Boston loses game seven. Not even in the slightest. This team has shown itself to be heartbreakers time and time again, okay? They nearly lost game six. Can they lose game seven? You better believe they can lose game seven. Everyone's saying that Jimmy Butler's spirit is broken, that the Heat spirit is broken. Maybe, but let's see it because I don't believe it, okay? I don't believe that Spolstra is broken. I don't believe Boston on paper is the better team. Go prove it, okay? This number, this line is set because Boston on paper is the better team. Go prove it, okay? Go prove it, Boston. Heat plus seven, 1.1 units. That's sort of like an emotional hedge, okay? I do think that Boston won't cover the seven, though, because I think it's a tight, low-scoring basketball game. The bet I like the best is the under, 203 and a half. We bet this the last game. Last three games have all gone under so far in this series. The total was as high as 214 and a half. Now it's 203 and a half. But there is a long theory about Game 7's going under, a long a long thought about tight, nervous play, shots, rims being very tight, guys being tight, not hitting shots consistently, and just offense looking really ragged. People, you know, fouls kind of, but the referees tend to put their whistles in the pocket for Game 7 and say, guys, go, you know, you guys go play it. Don't look for me for a whistle. So not a lot of free throws in this game. Boston, if they cover this number, Boston will blow out Miami, okay? So it's kind of a hedge on that, too. So if Boston covers the seven, be very surprised if this game goes over, okay? My gut would say Boston covers seven, the game's going under because Miami scores like 89 points, and it's like 109-89, and Boston wins, and Boston covers, okay? So that's kind of where I'm thinking about this, right? That's our maybe 105 to 89, right? My method of my fly on the fly, I can't think of this. But if they go ahead and cover, I don't think Miami scores a ton of points, okay? 
If Miami wins, I also can see the game going under. Could be like 95-90, Miami wins, okay? If Boston can't hit threes, if Boston's struggling to score, if Jason Tatum is invisible, if he disappears, okay? Maybe. I can't believe we're at a game seven. This is gonna be a crazy, crazy day for me. Again, Miami plus seven, 1.1 units, under 203 and a half, 1.1 units, the two bets here, 2.2 units going on the Celtics and the Heat for game seven. Let's go. Hockey, I have absolutely no idea who wins game six. Dallas has all the momentum. The Vegas Golden Knights could very well blow this. It's very possible. Dallas, talk about who's better on paper. Dallas is better on paper. I've thought so since midseason. I thought Dallas was a legitimate contender for the cup. And Vegas has, for some odd reason, taken their foot off the gas. They're just not scoring. I mean, Bruce Cassidy's offense, I mean, they want to lead and they want to sit on it, but they're blowing leads. This is going to be a dangerous game. Can Vegas win? Absolutely. Can the Dallas Stars win? Yeah, they probably will, to be honest with you, but enforce a game seven back in Vegas. It's very possible. I just think we've bet this last game. This thing has hit now in three straight games. Over one and a half goals in the first period. The books are getting wise to it a little bit. They're juicing it up. It's minus 115 now for the over one and a half goals. I just think this is the way to play this. I think the first period is a fast starting period for both teams, and then it tightens up in the second and the third periods. I expect the same thing happening here in game uh, game six. Could be 2 nothing Vegas. Could be 2 nothing Dallas. Could be 1-1. One, one. Very possible, but I do think we had two goals in the first period between Dallas and Vegas. That game starts just before the Celtics game. It'll be it's 5 o'clock Pacific time, 8 o'clock Eastern, I believe, and then 5.30, 8.30 for the, for the basketball game. Over one and a half goals for Vegas and Dallas here in game six of the Western Conference Finals. It's a Monday. It's a Memorial Day. Both the NHL and the NBA get what they want. A game seven and a game six when everyone is going to be coming back, getting ready for the work week. Huge ratings to be expected for, the, for this game. All eyes are going to be on the Celtics game, I think, but people will watch hockey. I'll be flipping back and forth, you know, to keeping an eye on both. I'll, I'll double screen it, basically, actually, on these things. But let's have a Monday. Finally, if you have lost someone in your family, if you have served in the military yourself, if you are serving in the military now, please understand that from myself and everybody at Betting Pros that we are internally grateful and thank you for your service it's sort of a line now that people say, thank you for your service, but I want you guys to know that we here really do mean that. I really do mean that when I say thank you because I've been able to have a 20 plus year career talking into a microphone about nonsense and sports and sports betting. It means nothing. While you guys are sacrificing holidays, while you guys are sacrificing time away from your family to protect us in a variety of ways, sometimes in ways that we never hear about. And from myself and everybody who works at Betting Pros. Thank you. If you've lost somebody, this is an actual day for remembrance. This is not just a cookout day, although we do love the meat from all my steaks. We do want to talk about the people who have sacrificed, the ultimate sacrifice for us here on a Memorial Day. From all of us here at Betting Pros and for myself with the Daily Juice, thank you for your service. We mean it. Heat plus seven, under 203 and a half. And the first period, over one and a half goals for Vegas and Dallas. Three plays on a Monday. Let's start the week off on the right foot. My name is Matt Peralta. Follow me on Twitter at Sports Talk. Matt, each and every morning, it is the Daily Juice podcast being brought to you by OmahaSteaks.com.